Hey everyone, I'm Alessio. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a very fast tutorial on how to use my FPC Swimmer asset for Unity that allows you to swim on a crest-based water system in first person. So to do that, I will just import the package that is exactly the same of the published one on the Acer store so that I can show you what's included and how to properly configure it. So first of all, there are some packages that need to be uh, additionally used by Unity. And this is the full list of assets that you will find included inside the package. We will go through them once everything is imported inside Unity. Once everything is imported, you can see there is an FPC Swimmer folder, which contains six folders. The core one is the one that contains the prefab for the swimming controller, which is a first person one. And uh, I will go through all the parameters and features uh, in a bit once we open the scenes. There are some other prefab as well for the underwater particles, for example, and some splash uh, particles. There are also several presets that are included for underwater particles for the foam preset and ocean preset of Crest, and also some other simulation settings for dynamics waves and the animated waves. Apart from the core, uh, you can see there is also the third party open source project Crest, which is the one uh, we will use to render our water system. There are some sample terrains of two different islands, one without textures and one with layered texture to appear a little more realistic. Then there are some standard assets that uh, are used uh, from the scripts of the controller. Then I also included a Sun Moon Sky folder which contains a day and night life cycle mechanism that shows the sun and moonlight on the sky depending on what's required for the scene. Then some very simple water effects for uh, splashes that can be used when you go inside the water or come out of it. So if we go inside the core and scenes, you can see there are included three different ones. The first one shows you the basic principles of how the FPC player works. So if I play, it mimics exactly all the functions of the first person controller. So I can jump, I can also run uh, pressing shift and extends the features, the functionalities of the normal first person controller with also this transition. So I can go inside the water and then now I'm swimming. So a couple of things that you can notice already. First of all, if I stay on the surface without moving, uh, the player floats over the water without any interaction from the user. Uh, so whenever a wave comes, uh, we are just uh, interacting dynamically with the position of it. When we go underwater, you can see also there is a particle system that is enabled for bubbles, but you can customize it with whatever you need. It can be fishes, it can be uh, other uh, little decorative underwater effects and yeah you're definitely free to do whatever you like at the same time when we go deep the sound pitch changes as well and when we go up again the sound will slowly come back to the normal pitch I can show you the parameters that are used. So this is the particle system that is enabled when you are underwater. Then this is the collection of sounds that can be used uh, to uh, control the background loop when you are underwater or um, play one shot um, some immersion or immersion sounds when you go from the seashore to the water and back. At the same time, you can have more controls on the transitions, so you can decide when um, those sounds are actually played. Uh, you can also have a, a specific particle system for splash um, water effects when you go inside the water. 
you can also control the speed of the immersion and immersion. So in this case, for example, uh, I am having the same height of the player uh, both when I'm outside of the water and inside of the water. But let's say, for example, in the water I want the player to be lower. There is this additional animation of the camera that will be shown. So if we go again close to the seashore, once I reach the water, I just go towards it and then suddenly it goes down to 0.5. I go up again and it comes back to 2 elevation. It's just a very uh, simple trick to mimic the player entering inside the water or not. Okay, so this is more or less everything for the first scene. If I go to the second one, Sun, Moon, Sky Demo, it's going to be a little more interesting because I also included a day and night life cycle, which can be controlled by this prefab. This is the speed uh, that controls the sunshine, sunrise, and the appearance of the moon and stars. And if I play, you can see that I can control the speed, it can be faster. Then at one point, it will switch to the moon and the stars. I also added uh, um, a flare to both of them to make it uh, a little more realistic. At the same time, we can also invert the rotation, so we can expect, obviously, the other direction. And let's try, for example, to go underwater now. As you can see, Crest adapts to the lighting that we choose with the day and night. And uh, I also tweaked it a little bit to appear as realistic as possible. So for example, here you can see where the sun is rising. There is also a nice color for the fog underwater. And we can speed up with shift, so swimming faster. And in addition to that, in this scene, when we go inside, there is also the sound that is played. So we go inside one shot, we go outside another sound. And uh, as well, this is still controlled by the first person controller. Let's say, for example, that I don't like the sound on land of the wind. Uh, inside you can see there is a land audio source which has the background of each sound loop so if I just remove it it will have no sound so that we can understand better two sounds when I go in and outside obviously these are sample sounds I'm aware that there are uh, much better high quality audios that can be used from the asset store for audio simula for water simulation and I actually encourage you to uh, have a look at that so that you can have a very powerful system all combined together. Then the last scene that I'm going to show you today is a textured rain just to give you an idea of how the final result will be with a proper texture terrain so we are here and that's the underwater effect which I think is quite nice to see so as well if I stop moving there is still the water which is slowly moving me and I can control the movement of actually the force of the water from these settings and the water physics propagation and at the same time I think I can show you the particle splash system so when I go inside the water you can 
Fancy I trigger his splash particle system, which you can replace with, with whatever you need or you like, which is quite handy. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. I will just have a last swim before the moonlight appears and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want more uh, or give me your feedback uh, on how you think this can be can be improved if you want other tutorials or anything is unclear i'm happy to do more tutorials and hope you enjoyed it <laughs>